95 reasons I admire my friend on her 95th birthday. Because she's always smiling. She is a phone conversationalist. She laughs every time I'm with her. She has a lovely daughter. She cares about people. She knows what love is about. Interested in other people. A great listener. Loves singing, enjoys music, tries new things knows her limitations, accepts change, knows how to grieve, at peace, enjoyed meeting a celebrity. She treasures friendship. She likes a nap at times. She's kind, very generous, a great sense of humor. Memories galore, ball games enjoyed. Compassionate, charitable, provided opportunity, encouraged hobbies, content in her home. She had cozy items around. Pictures were treasured. She appreciates the good old days. One room schools, having a teacher board at her home, sharing a room. She cared for others. She's very neighborly, raised her children, supported her husband, liked animals gave my aunt an opportunity to ride a horse in her 80s, enjoyed reading, made purses out of plastic bags, and that's what I'm showing here, is one of the purses she made and gave to me for my bags. Gave lots away. She was at the ballpark too many times to count. She had a house full of knickknacks. She enjoyed reading. Makes a great cup of tea. Attended school picnics. Knows what a three-legged race is or a sack race or the horse and buggy days. A telephone on the wall or the first airplane she saw. Traveled by car. Visited my farm. Accepted a gift. Treats people with respect. Caring. A great arranger. Her comfortable house, the yellow house in the neighborhood. Her health and vitality, her smile, love of her children. She loves activities and knows how to be with someone in a wheelchair. Said goodbye to Edward, her husband, in 2016. She cares for humanity, friendly and generous. She crocheted blankets. She loves connecting and she had a cozy house. She had tenacity and was gentle and vibrant and an engaging listener, authentic. She never lost the kid in herself. Hence, the decorated envelope I gave her for her birthday with stickers from my granddaughter. My brother said she was always a total positive person and that her son was always happy. He wished her a happy birthday and my sister Marlene talked about the purse she gave her and even sent me a picture of it. Hers was black and white. And anyway, she was a great friend of my aunt's. They were in a long-term relationship and lifelong friend of my parents. And I appreciate that. I say happy birthday. Bye for now. Happy birthday to you.